today on how to make anything, we're going to talk about building this, what I like to call the APR or the amazing PVC rectangle. And if you're a filmmaker, you're going to want to steady your shots once in a while, creating sort of a smooth gliding effect. You can do this with a steady cam, which is very expensive, or you can build one yourself. And there have been several knockoffs on that uh, design. But I like to use uh, th this, which is sort of a clone of a fig rig. And if you haven't ever seen a fig rig, it, it looks like a steering wheel with a camera placed in the middle. It uses your arms as a balancing mechanism, and it uh, works rather well. Unfortunately, the official fig rig is $300, and uh, I didn't want to spend that much, so I thought I would build something that worked on the same exact principle using your arms as a balancing device, and I came up with this. Uh, this device, uh, I think, is a little bit better designed because you can actually put it on the ground, um, unlike the fig rig, which you need to buy a stand for or something. You can put the APR on the ground, and it won't fall over. Plus, it only costs about 10 bucks, another selling point. Okay, so where to begin? The first thing we're going to want to build is this, which is the base. Um, you're going to want to get uh, a length of PVC that you cut to the distance where, where your two arms, when they are uh, perpendicular to each other, just hold them straight out in front of you. Uh, that's what this measurement's going to be. That's essentially how you're going to be holding this most of the time, is like this. So it's a kind of a good distance. Then take your two um, your T joints and glue them on either end so that they're both uh, in the same position. You don't want these twisted because then the rest of it won't fit together. Uh, if you're wondering how to cut your PVC, some people use a hacksaw. I, re I recommend you go spend $4 and get a ratcheting PVC cutter at Harbor Freight Tools. It's a great investment. It cuts PVC like a knife through butter, and you'll use it many, many times. The more projects like this you'll build, uh, it's a great gadget. So you've got your base, essentially. Now you're going to want to build your feet so you can set the thing on the ground. Uh, these are constructed out of a T-joint and two end caps with little pieces of insert in between um, so it just barely fits into the T-joint like so on either end. Super glue those in there. Then you're going to want another insert um, sticking up like that. That'll go into the bottom of your base. You can super glue that into the bottom like so on each end. This is going to form the feet that will hold the entire thing up when you sit it on the ground. Um, remember that the larger your camera is, the longer you want this base so that the weight of the camera will not topple the thing. Um, I'm using a small camera for this, so the smallest absolute size is uh, what I used. And also it's good because when you're waving it around, you're not poking yourself in the stomach or anything. Um, so that's the base section. Next up, you're going to want the uh, hand grips because you're going to be carrying this around by these. This is basically a PVC pipe pushed through two bicycle handle uh, grips just far enough to fit into the T-joint. You don't want to super glue these in so you can break it down later, but they're a press fit and they fit in pretty good. The handle grips cost about $7. They're the most expensive thing in this build, uh, unless you don't have the camera mount, which we'll talk about in a second. So next is the top. Um, this is created by an equal length of PVC pipe, user ratcheting cutters, um, with two elbows on either end. Before you put the elbows on, though, you're going to want to put your camera mount, which I got from an old tripod. Uh, this camera mount, uh, when I took it apart, I noticed, hey, the diameter of this part right here that fits over the half-inch PVC pipe happens to be a half-inch. It's the perfect size. You may have to cut a groove right here in the PVC pipe. I did. So that the threaded, uh, the threaded piece right here that you tighten this thing onto the PVC will stay. Uh, otherwise, there's just it, the... The screw will not fit into the top because of the curvature of the PVC. So cut a groove in there, attach the thing, make it a little off-center. I'll show you why in a second, but that is important. You can also replace this with a screw, um, but I haven't done that yet. But notice that it's something I would want to do because it was always poking me in the neck or something on close shots. So super glue the two elbows on and attach it to the top of the handle grips, but don't super glue those if you want to break this down. So there's your rig right there. This camera mount is kind of nice because it has a quick release plate, like so. It fits right in, so I don't have to attach the camera uh, onto or screw it in through the bottom of the mount. I can just put this quick release plate, leave it on here if I want, and uh, attach the thing like this. Comes in and out rather simply. Now notice again, the, uh, the mount is a little off-center, so that the camera is off to the right, but the viewfinder is pretty much in the middle. And there you go. This is the APR, the amazing PVC rectangle, and here are some of the shots you can get with it. Mm -hmm.